the GPUs are, um, at this point, considerably harder to get than drugs. <laughs> Hello friends, welcome to AI Flux. This week, Elon Musk unleashed his latest project, X.AI. And we're gonna get into why it's named X, what they're actually doing, and really if it has anything to do with AI. So it seemed fitting that Elon announced this new project on Twitter, and he did in this tweet here. So he pretty much said, announcing the formation of XAI to understand reality. The question here is, what is the point of XAI? What are they really trying to do? And how has Elon hinted at this in the past? So right now, the XAI Twitter page is pretty bare. It just says, what are the most fundamental unanswered questions, which I can assume some of those will be picked to be discussed in their Twitter space on Friday. And that's basically it. But first, why is it probably named X and why does Elon seem to have a proclivity to this name? So I would guess that it has something to do with the very first company that Elon started with a few co-founders, X.com. So this was actually started way back in the day in March, 1999 in Palo Alto, California. And X was a payments company. So basically this on Wikipedia, they describe this as uh, X.com was an online bank co-founded by Elon Musk, Harris Fricker, Christopher Payne, and Ed Ho in 1999. In 2000, X.com merged with competitor Confinity Inc., a software company also based in Palo Alto. The merged company changed its name to PayPal, eBay bought PayPal for $1.5 billion in 2002, and the rest is history. And I think the general ethos of this is um, most people don't know that X.com almost completely went away during the dot-com crash. So X.com for Elon not only represents his first big success in entrepreneurship, but it also represents a incredibly trying time among himself and his co-founders. Curiously, Elon was actually friends with one of the founders of Confinity, and they actually decided to merge to survive the dot-com bubble burst that was quickly approaching shortly after X.com was actually founded. And I think Elon is tied to this idea of X.com and just the ethos of this, because it was one of the first times where he solidified his notion that the internet was not just for basic communication over PBS, but was a notion of exchange of money, ideas, and movements, which in the early 2000s, people thought the internet could be used for everything, but clearly Elon had a much tighter focus for this, which I now think he wants to apply to AI through x.ai at Twitter. So there are also some pretty early hints that probably pointed to this happening. So we know Elon Musk was one of the first people to back OpenAI, back when it was truly a nonprofit, and in theory was going to develop very uh, moonshot type AI concepts, However, Elon has also been a outspoken critic of AI since that time. Some would argue he's spreading doom and gloom, that AGI is very dangerous, that AI in general is dangerous to society. And this has been happening uh, up until it was spearheaded by this letter that was put together in October of 2022. A lot of people thought this only happened because Elon wanted to sort of spook everyone and carve out his own corner of the AI space. I think there may, may have been a bit of that. I think um, Sam Altman's hand wringing with Congress has honestly been more of a show than this. But the biggest hint we ever had was shortly after the Twitter acquisition went through, Elon publicly or through some channel announced indirectly that he had purchased 10,000 GPUs and spent somewhere in the range of probably $100 million on this. Now, we don't know what was purchased. We don't know where the hardware actually went. The details are very sparse. And was also talking about bigger ideas of how they wanted to use AI at Twitter now that they had actually purchased it and a lot of the um, less useful parts of the company had been called. So in terms of what GPUs might be powering XAI, it's a little bit unclear, but it is clear that they're probably going to be in one of the remaining data centers in Atlanta or Oregon. We know that the Sacramento data center for Twitter was actually shut down. And ironically, this is why a lot of Twitter broke initially because Elon was trying to cut costs as quickly as possible. And we also know, know at this point that Twitter is trying to move to on-prem and that they've actually stopped paying Google for their cloud bill, which I think is kind of interesting. A lot of people were surprised by this decision to buy tons of GPUs. I think this was more of a hedge by Elon since clearly he had the money. If we've seen anything come true, it's that whoever has the most GPUs now and an ability to deploy them has probably the biggest edge in creating new development in the AI space. So it makes sense as a hedge just to buy 10,000 GPUs of some kind that he thought were useful at this point. 
some other people think that the core of XAI is more of an LLM approach. So around the same time when he bought a bunch of these GPUs, um, Musk claimed to be assembling a team to focus on the creation of a non-woke version of OpenAI's ChatGPT, which I think were just, there were a lot of funny Elon tweets that focused on making fun of how woke ChatGPT was, but nonetheless. Um, so some other tweets that I think were pretty insightful into what XAI might be doing is this one from March. So basically, Elon says here, um, in the months ahead, we will use AI to detect and highlight manipulation of public opinion on this platform. Let's see what the PsyOps cat drags in. So there's a question of, you know, basically if this will be used to make Twitter more truth-seeking, and I think that's probably the most accurate approach here. Because Twitter making an LLM, that sort of makes sense, maybe as a tool that could generate uh, community notes more effectively and with better um, sort of human-based input decision-making. There's also been a lot of debate as to whether or not the big rate-limiting implementation that some would say broke Twitter temporarily has to do with understanding where bots were interacting in Twitter. My take on this is it was probably to reduce scraping and cloud bills. There's also been a lot of people who are seemingly complaining on the internet that like, oh, you know, Elon was complaining that people were scraping Twitter, but clearly he's just going to use this to train something at XAI. And things do get more interesting with today's announcement that the FTC is officially releasing a probe into OpenAI and ChatGPT, claiming that they had harmed users in some way. But let's look at the XAI website. So clearly the Twitter is pretty sparse, their website is also sparse, but it does give us some insight into what they're doing. So plainly, they state that the goal of XAI is to understand, quote, the true nature of the universe, which this is probably like a pie in the sky, uh, Silicon Valley type uh, pitch. And what I think is cool is they've released the team here. They describe the team as being led by Elon Musk, obviously, with uh, X DeepMind, OpenAI, Google Research, Microsoft Research, Tesla, and uh, University of Toronto tenured people. Collectively, we contributed to some of the most widely used methods in the field, particularly the atom optimizer, batch normalization, layer normalization, and a lot of other big concepts that have made AI just have the massive leaps that have made it so fast and, and prevalent in modern time. So this is the team. Um, we might make some videos about these team members. Um, some are more interesting than others, or some might be more well-known than others, just in public. Definitely recommend listening to the spaces on Friday to uh, learn a bit more about each of these guys. So in closing, um, what do you guys think? Do you think XAI is kind of a, just a, a ploy to make Twitter appear to be an AI company and to get more money to back sort of the uh, revenue shortfall that Twitter knowingly still has? Do you think this is just another big marketing ploy like the Hyperloop by Elon Musk? Do you like Elon Musk? Do you dislike Elon Musk? Please let us know in the comments. If you want us to focus on a specific area of this, let us know. Let us know we've been covering GPUs too much. And uh, as always, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. That really helps us. We hope you learned something and we'll see you in the next video.